Hello and welcome to The Elliot Show. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the steps to success about making a great story. From the idea all the way to the end, I'm going to be telling you how you can make the perfect story. So let's get started. is the plan. And now, there are loads of different types of ways to do a plan, like pulling the idea in the middle and then the spider diagram. You can also use like a long paragraph of ideas and just throw them out onto the page, or you can do it randomly. Right and all you do is, is just write, 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 and see what gets you going. But speaking of writing, that's our next stage. After planning, not doing any planning, we go on to the writing stage. The next part of making a story is the writing. And it's really simple. All you need first is either a laptop or a computer to type up on a note thing or word or even box. Or you can put a notebook or a piece of paper and a pen and start writing. The next stage of writing the book is the end stage of the proofreading, and it is the worst stage because you need to read through all the different compartments of the story and make sure they're grammatically correct, there are no spelling errors, and it works well. That is the worst part because you're basically rereading the story that you've written. Sometimes you even rewriting the story that you've written, which is always And sometimes you just, just try and do my best. But then another thing you can do is actually ask someone else to do it. Someone that's more likely to see the mistakes that you've made in your life than you would. And then that sounds like a silly thing to say that you won't stop your mistakes. Editors that you are, are maybe a better person that you can in a bit of a deeper way. Then you can do it for your life, and you can do it for your life. It could be a but the end of the is vital, but it might be a bit of a long, sad process. Or it might feel but editing is Well, that's the end of the video already. And it might seem like a quick one, but for me, I really feel like over the past few weeks, as I've uploaded a few more longer videos that are 10, 20 minutes even long, I feel like there's just not enough, there's not the most response for someone that might be watching the RC car video, for example, which has got so many views, which, thank you. Another thing I need to do more of, which I say I'm going to do, but I don't, because I don't really know how to do it, and that's a weird thing to say, is short, because I'm actually terrible at shorts. But, of course, you know, Oscar, Fearless123, he's really good at shorts, he's got loads of views in his shorts, and I think he's going to help me. Hopefully. <laughs> I say that because 
we live near close by and we're friends, so I guess why wouldn't he not help me? And what's even better is it's the Easter holidays, so I'm going to be doing so many different videos and they will come out in due course every Saturday at 10am, if that's where you're looking for the videos. Or you can go and look back at all my other videos because they are, there are loads of them waiting to be watched. Those of them that have great music and great editing, even though I'm saying that I'm probably in bias. But I'm so pleased with how it turned out so far and the response that I've had from all of my friends about it and even some other people who I don't know who have subscribed and liked. But thank you for watching. Look out for loads more videos and community posts. And I hope to see you very soon. Remember to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Also, get your friends and family to subscribe as well. The more the merrier. Come and join the club. And I'll see you 